hello capricorn how are you guys doing welcome back to the channel i'm so sorry guys i've been you know recovering from sickness and so um i kind of slacked i did not upload any capricorn reading last week okay so sorry child <laughs> all right so let's see this is for capricorn sun moon rising and venus um please understand this is a general not a personal reading take what resonates for you at this moment in time please like this video capricorn i really appreciate that very very much uh, share, subscribe, tap a neighbor on the shoulder, you turn to your neighbor in church, whatever you need to do, please, okay? All right, so let's see. <laughs> what is coming to Capricorn in love? Capricorn, Capricorn. So Capricorn, you have some freak that needs to do a shadow work, okay? But at the same time, they may need to work on themselves, but at the same time, they still want to like take you out on a date. You have date night, so that's very interesting. All right, so let's see what's popping. You could be dealing with Sagittarius, uh, Aquarius. You could be dealing with uh, maybe another Capricorn, which I, mean, I wonder what that's like. But um, all right. All right, what is coming to Capricorn in love, Capricorn? so capricorn yeah we do have the chariot here what is coming to capricorn in love capricorn capricorn so basically capricorn um hmm, virgo gemini cancer energy here so i don't know what all of this what the what all of the commotion is about with the five of wands i don't know if you and this freak has been fighting a lot all right, what's coming to Capricorn in love? Capricorn. Yeah, possibly you and this person have been fighting a lot. Uh, a lot of arguments, okay? You have the Five of Cups. What's coming to Capricorn in love? Um, so basically, it looks like this freak wants to win you back at all costs here. Could be a Virgo. We have Virgo tw twice. <laughs> Temperance, Six of Wands, the Star, Aquarius, Sagittarius. What's coming to Capricorn and love Capricorn? Um, somebody wants to come out of a separation here, Capricorn. Okay, uh, like I said, strong Virgo showing up here. So Moon rising Venus. So uh, something tells me you and this fur you you and this freak have been probably arguing quite a bit bumping heads whatever this is about and maybe this freak feels like a loser <laughs> so basically this person feels like a loser someone feels like a loser in this situation uh maybe you know you're disappointed in this person they're disappointed in themselves okay there could be some sort of regret going on with this person uh when it comes to you here but the hermit reverse always shows up for you know i don't know if this this person tends to ghost you maybe they do ghost you quite a bit okay um, and then they come back and start crap with you. So let's see. What is the five of wands for Capricorn? Five of wands. Hmm. So Gabriel, this freak wants to stop you from basically moving on with your life. That's what they're, they're trying to do. You know what? Something just tells me that this person... Um, of course, if you're not in a relationship with this person, something tells me that this person just kind of doesn't want to see you move on here. All right, what is a magician for Capricorn in love? You know, at the last given moment, that's when they reach out. That's when they try to, you know, come up, uh, basically, you know, <clears throat> it's basically all some type of trick or illusion for this person. That's kind of what I feel. Because it's like, just when they feel like, okay, or someone feels like, okay, uh, this person's going to move on. They've had enough of me. Boom. Then they try to, oh, let's go on a date. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's make it work. You know, and then they go back to the same crap. So what is the Five of Cups for Capricorn? <sighs> okay, so this freak may have had you with a third party. Uh, wow. Wowzers. Could be third party. Could be a fire sign. Hmm. It seems like it's always short term with this person, Capricorn. Maybe whenever you guys do reconcile, it doesn't last that long. Um, some of you, I'm also hearing this freak could be very uh, dramatic. They, you know, you know, someone requires a lot of attention here. 
Um, this Queen of Wands in the reverse is pretty concerning. This could be, you know, self-esteem issues as well. Uh, so what is the Hermit reverse for Capricorn? The Hangman reverse, if you want to. Huh. You know, I'm kind of getting the energy that at the end of the day, this person may not... This person may have feelings for you, Capricorn, but at the same time, I just can't help but feel like this is someone who has other things to work on. Um, and that could be why you want nothing to do with them. You know, there's something that they need to work on. So what is temperance? They could be someone who brings a lot of drama into your life. Um, someone brings a lot of drama here, okay? <clears throat> And it's like you always try to work with each other, you know, someone tries to work with the other person, but then it kind of falls apart again. It's like, it's it feels very stagnant, like it just kind of, you know, Libra had a similar reading, could be done with a Libra, you have Libra in your chart. But this person has some type of problem here, Capricorn. Um, so what they're going to do, moral of the story is they are, they are going to come in to do their best song and crappy dance here with the magician. They are, they're going to try. Uh, they, they want to fight for you, okay? And they're going to try to be the winner here. But at the cost of what, okay? Um, we know that, you know, their ego is kind of bruised with you not dealing with them or whatever is going on here. They want to fight for this. They want to. But I don't know, Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know, Cap. It's kind of one of those things to where I feel like this person just wants to be able to say that they got you. Um it's like more of like a conquest thing for them right now. It's more of like a, a ego thing, you know, especially if they see other people, you're dealing with someone else, you know, they may feel like, okay, you know, let me try to, to become a distraction and throw myself in the middle of it. Like, Hey Capricorn, look at me, look at me. You know, that's kind of what I'm getting with this freak. Um, but truth be told, like I said, I'm, this is not to say this person's a terrible person um, and that they just, they don't care. Or I just think that this person has a lot of work to do, which is why shadow work came out. Uh, because I feel like this person, the way they come off, the way they operate is very dramatic. Okay. Um, and always when, just when they feel like they're about to lose you, you know, that's when they want to step up real quick. Um, but they probably go back to the same behavior you know what is the four swords you probably feel like this freak is not changing and they're probably not four swords reverse yeah knight of swords reverse um maybe you guys got to kind of curse someone cursed someone out here you have the emperor here this could be a deadbeat father as well um you know or mother someone who just doesn't really step up the way they need to because <clears throat> i always say at the end of the day you can love someone all you want, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're ready for that person or that you're going to, you know, be a healthy partner. Love is just a feeling at the end of the day. Um, what the hell are you going to do with that feeling, right? So if you're not healed or you're not uh, really someone who um, is operating from a, a higher a higher consciousness, then at the end of the day, Capricorn, they would only sabotage everything that they touch with you. So... Um, that's what I feel about this freak. So don't, don't allow this person to kind of come in and, you know, throw up like some type of, what is it? You know, like a, like a signal, like a shot signal in the air. Don't let this person try to distract you uh, from moving forward because I think that you decided that you're going to move forward from them. Um, so every time they feel like you're going to move forward, this is what they're going to come and do to distract you okay so it's up to you what you're gonna do anyway more for capricorn please what is coming you see seven of swords so basically this is someone who like i said they're kind of up to no good uh they know what they're doing they're being very strategic um uh <laughs> wow well aren't you guys happy that you have me to kind of debunk this freak <laughs> that way you can see the truth of them because they're, I mean, they're literally tricking you, Capricorn. They think that you're going to fall for this. Now, if you do, you do. But just know that they're not going to catch you at this point in time. I just feel like it's all a trick for them. They're tricking you. The moon. They're tricking you. It could be a Scorpio. And you may not be realizing that they're actually kind of testing and tricking you here. 
Now, if you're in a relationship, it's still the same thing, you know. Your partner may be masking who they really are, meaning that maybe there's someone who needs to kind of work on themselves, okay? And um, that's not your problem. So let's get some of these cards here. For Capricorn, what do we have? So at the end of the day, it's your choice. It's your decision. You have Ice King, uh, Boss, Entrepreneur, Detached. Okay. Dating Queen, Capricorn. We have dark male. So this is a dark freak. <laughs> uh, past life. So you have some type of karma with this person, apparently. Friendship. Children. You probably have children with this person, okay? What else do we have? Spiritual growth. So I feel like some of you have really outgrown this person. Or, you know, you're probably the more spiritually elevated one or something like that. So you need to be very careful. I mean, this could be a twin flame connection as well. Taking back power. Okay, but either way, like I said, this person doesn't have any real good intention right now, other than that they want to stop you and cause a distraction from you to, from moving on from them. Okay, while they string you along or whatever and go back to their same shitty behaviors. Oh boy. So this could definitely be an Aries or a Pisces. Okay, Aries, Pisces, Moon rising, Venus. Okay. You could be in denial or this freak could be in denial, okay? Make sure you're not in denial. You have emotionally unavailable. So this person could be emotionally unavailable, like I said, playing these games with you because they're already screwed up. You have I'm sorry. So you have only want to fuck. So probably this freak, you know, at this point in time, that's all they, all they really want to do, okay? What else do we have for Capricorn, please? Time to heal. So you've been healing from this person, okay? You have best I ever had. So, I mean, maybe this freak does feel that way. But at the end of the day, like I said, they could be a liar and a cheater. <laughs> you have liar and cheater here, guys. Okay. So be very careful with this. Uh, you have moved on, done moving on. So it's best that you move on from this person. Uh, this, I mean, they could be depressed without you, but how is that your problem, right? And then we have, I'm not ready to change. So this freak is not ready to change whatsoever and like i said they may have some deep-seated issues that you don't even know about they're just screwed up okay all right well capricorn that is what i have for you guys you guys have been begging me for readings in the comments i'm sorry about you know last week uh, i just didn't have it in me to do the readings okay all right talk to you guys soon